Well, good afternoon, church family. I uh, hope you're having a wonderful week uh, in your shelter-in-place uh, situation now. So uh, I was thinking about um, kind of just a word of encouragement for you today. I was thinking about all the updates that we have. Of course, we're used to that on our phone. I get a message every couple months, it seems like. Uh, there's, a, there's a new update for your phone or on my computer that says, uh, would you like to download all the updates? With the coronavirus, there are all the updates that are the changing information. Okay, now that we've heard this, we're going to change the plan to this. And we'll just continue to go through that. As I was thinking about that, it, there's, a, there's a lesson there uh, in leadership that no matter how great of a leader you are, you're, you can only be as good of a leader as good as the information you have. Uh, in fact, this is a strategy that uh, was used during like World War II that you would send misinformation and allow the enemy to find what it was because you're going to throw off their game plan. Uh, so for us, the question that you have is, how do you have the right information? Uh, in a world where everything's changing and day to day there are updates, how is it that you're going to have the best information? And this is um, a big part of our worldview. We believe that the best information comes from God's Word. How do we know God's character? Well, we study it in God's Word. How do we know what God's plan is? We find those principles in God's Word. I mean, in a time like this, when everything's unchanging, one of the best things you could do is study the character of God because it's unchanging. He's immutable. Uh, it talks about in uh, Hebrews chapter 6, whenever they're, they're discussing his promise, it says that God swore by something that was unchanging, which was himself, uh, that, that he made this promise based on his own character. And so for us today, we stand on an unchanging document, which is the Word of God. So whenever we uh, look at everything else that's moving and trying to figure out how it's work, the best thing you could do is find the best information, which will make you uh, will be the, the first step in making the right decision. So for us, our first place to look is always the Word of God. I wanted to read Psalm 119, 89 for you. It says this, Forever, O Lord, your Word is firmly fixed in the heavens. And the, the picture there, of course, is that uh, it, it's, it's on a foundation that's not changed, that, that our landscape changes. In fact, when I drive back to my hometown, it's interesting to me to drive through a town I haven't been in 20 years and to see how it's changed. But heaven hasn't changed. God's throne room looks the same throughout eternity. God's word is fixed there. And we're so grateful to have God's word written down that we could stand on the truth of that and know that even in 2020, the most relevant information that we have, the best information we have, comes from God's Word. And we said we'd spend a little bit of time uh, in connecting. I wanted to let you know that we're still working with Sunday School classes. There's uh, one that will be available on Sunday, and so you could join that. Jamie actually is going to work for something with the kids uh, for Sunday that they can uh, join in and be a part of, so you can look for uh, some information from Jamie. And then also want to let you know um, that Michael's going to be meeting with the kids on Friday nights to be doing a Zoom meeting so they can hang out with each other and do a Bible study. So we're very grateful for that. As far as some of the things with the ministry, we have a YouTube channel now. Uh, so you'll be able to watch the videos uh, like our Facebook Live at the same time will be on our YouTube channel. And that will also be on our website. Uh, so if you're looking for how to be a part of the Sunday morning worship service, if you don't have Facebook, you could be able to view it on YouTube, and you could even do that uh, through just our website, uh, through springhillbaptist.church, and so we'd love for you to join us there. Uh, we have a Roku TV, and so we can actually throw it up on our, uh, you know, huge big screen. I think it's like 24 inches, so, you know, man, it's just amazing to have this to look at on, on such high definition, so apologize in advance for that. Uh, but also want to let you know uh, that somebody had asked the question about what are we doing with our offering since the office is closed. So that is being forwarded. So you could still mail in your offering. And then also let you know that we have the um, text to give and the online donations if, uh, if the Lord lays it on your heart. We're um, very appreciative of that. We're actually praying about how we could use that to minister to those people in need. And so we're going to talk about that on Monday. I've been meeting with the pastors and the deacons, and we'll uh, be, be discussing how we can we can minister to people who are, are really hurting through this difficult time. So, a church family, I know you have the Holy Spirit, 
so if the Holy Spirit lays ideas on your mind that you say, man, this would be a great way for us to minister to people, a uh, practical way to minister to people who are hurting, if you'll please send that in to us or maybe leave it as a comment, we'd love to, um, we'd love to think about how it is we can, we can continue to minister and even do a better job ministering. We love you guys. We're so grateful for you. We miss you guys so much. Let me pray for us. Father, thank you for this day. Would you continue to lead us and guide us? Father, would you allow us to stand firmly on your word? Father, I thank you that it's unchanging. Father, would you uh, continue to reveal yourself to us through your word? May we seek you and find you as we study you in scripture. Father, you are our greatest good. We love you and we